with one in Irish people suffering, or rather one in five Irish people suffering from fertility issues, it's little wonder that there are a series of people considering their options when it comes to what could help them with the conception process. This morning we are joined by one couple, Francis Micklem and Yanni Ilvonen, who are about to embark on their journey to conceiving their first child as they've signed to participate in Europe's first ever clinical study in the use of preconceive. Also joining us to tell us about this new fertility treatment is Dr David Smallbone. You're both very welcome this morning. You're all very welcome. Um, Francis, Yanni, first of all, I'm going to say what I'm going to say to you when you sat down. Fair play for talking about this in public because it's Thank a big you. deal, you know, to talk. It's something very private and very personal. And I know you're choosing to talk about it to maybe help other people. Absolutely. And we're going to be following you throughout this journey. No pressure. <laughs> um, but tell us, Francis, about yourself and Yanni and your story together and how you've arrived at this point. Well, I mean, we decided to, uh, uh, well, we thought we knew that each other were the right people to have a family because Yanni's a very uh, loving man, very responsible, and, uh, and that's what I'm like. We, what a lovely team for that to, for that to happen. So. Uh, we went for it. It was part of our our lives to to focus on our health and uh, on generally on health. That's what I do for a living, the, the energy healing and advocacy. So I I love everything natural. And, and you've been trying yourselves. And this sounds very intrusive to ask yeah. these questions, but that's what we're here to discuss. You've been yeah. trying yourself to get pregnant naturally for how long? A year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. And are you, are you thinking, right, there's something wrong now? Have you been for physical checks or...? Well, that's been the, uh, the first interesting part of the journey uh, with this programme, is that we went and learnt a huge amount about the physical body. You know, you, you know your general processes of, on a monthly basis. But uh, then to find out about you know, any fragmentation of DNA and how many the eggs you might have left and the, the, how your hormone responses, how you're actually doing physically. So physically, is everything working for you guys? It's just the actual conception part? Yes. Um, OK, so, so physically everything is in working order? Well, uh, as far as the uh, tests have all said so far, that everything is, everything is good. So uh, then it comes to this idea that, you know, the, the world we live in is quite a, um, you know, a lot of pollution, not of great food quality and things like that. So we said to ourselves, um, this was kind of a totally exciting prospect preconceived because it has all you know, natural minerals and organic healthy stuff to actually antioxidants, the whole lot to detox the body and let it do what it's supposed to be doing in the first place. And then it might all just come together that's if we're lucky. Plan. That's the hope, that's the dream. Yeah. Yanni, can I ask, the man is always, I came to Francis first, because we always think about fertility and conception being a woman's issue, but men are obviously equally involved. Uh, how, are your, how do you feel about this? Uh, this is actually a great process and great journey. So. It's uh, coming a lot of new information about it and uh, that the um, whole process has been great. There's uh, all detox and everything like that. And I think for man, it's uh, normally it's quite difficult to talk about those things. So yeah. I think I uh, hope that uh, give a new kick for man around and actually yeah. have a chat about the things and bring that up. And well, let's then get to the, the actual the, the treatment um, as it is. The um, process preconceived, is it a process? Is it a, a medicine? Difficult to describe, but it's, it's, a, it's a process of going through making sure that the materials that could be lacking in the body are being given to the body. And this is a major problem in current life. Our food doesn't always contain what it should and we have no means of knowing whether it does or it doesn't. And what are the kind of things that you find to be absent? Things like selenium and zinc, minerals that normally get into our food in the growing process, but unless they're in the soil, it can't happen. Uh, we have a, a big problem in the Western world in that many of our growing processes do not allow our food to contain what it should. Now, but surely, Doctor, if you took, I mean, most, a, a basic bowl of cereal, um, a fortified milk, any of those things, surely we have the opposite problem. We're, over, we're inundated with mm, irons and vitamins. The, this, the problem is, it's what the format of the, those materials is that's present. And most fortification is not done with the body in mind. It's done with making sure that the so-called mineral is present. Now, our bodies can only use them in certain formats. And one of the things we have to do is convert 
the unusable ones into usable ones. This takes energy and other materials. So to sum up, preconceive is essentially telling people to be healthy, exercise well, stay away from bad things in your life, which is the general advice that would be given to couple trying to conceive, couples trying to conceive anyway. Absolutely, but yeah. it's also providing the raw materials to ensure that they're not missing something. Because Francis, yourself and Yanni, you're, uh, you're into energy healing, you're into a healthy lifestyle, you only eat organic, you know, you're super healthy by Irish standards. So you're doing all of this anyway. So why would preconceive be something that would, you would feel the need for in your life? Well, I think it's, uh, I think we, we're all interacting all the time. So I think, it, you know, coming in and out of Dublin, coming in and out of any, any situation, workplace, Sorry, has, um, is going to have some sort of impact sure. on us. So we're, we're not getting away scot-free living in a, a, a bubble of pure happiness. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but at the same time, the other lovely thing is that we've, we've focused on it as a chance to prioritise yeah. this time, this, this chance. You know, uh, my age was, was a factor. Do you mind if I ungallantly ask your age? Uh, 43. 43, okay. Yeah. Plenty of women getting pregnant at later ages now with the help of IVF treatment and other fertility treatments. But you're trying to really trying to pursue it naturally. Yes, I yeah. uh, do have a belief that you know, what's, uh, what's for us won't pass us by. So I want, I want it to be natural or for something else to happen. I don't, I don't mind. But uh, yeah, it's a chance to say, right, this is you know, the summer of love. Why not? You know, <laughs> good food. Uh, support the body, get to know what's happening and in the body. And as you and said, you focus on it. You know, whereas yeah. even people are trying to get pregnant, they're still working, they're still making sure the house is all right, and it's kind of at the back of their minds. But for you now, this programme has made this a priority, so you're really focusing on it. Yes. OK, with a view to hopefully getting pregnant and conceiving your first child. And we're going to be following you. It feels really intrusive, so we're yeah. going to be... We're not going to be following every yeah, single yeah. bit of this process. <laughs> You're going to be reporting back to us on, on how you go and how you find preconceived. Well, it's funny because my aunt who lives in Dublin, she might be watching, uh, she's, uh, she and my mum are a twin. Ah. So there's, as it skips a generation, we could just rustle up two at one go if we're really lucky. <laughs> that would be great TV if you could. That would be fantastic. <laughs> but I know we're joking, but this is a really big thing that you're doing, and I'm really, really thrilled that you're doing it in public, you know, because it's a brave thing to do and we wish you all the best luck in the world. Thank and the you. advice that Preconceive are giving you, I'm sure we can share with our viewers as well. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Yanni. And thank you, Francis. Thank and you. best of luck. Thank you very much.